Now, we, before we get into these other options, because they actually, especially the slice and trim, deal a lot with polygroups, let's dig a little bit deeper into polygroup functionality. So if we go down here in our menu, we have polygroups, and there's a lot more polygroup options in here. And you don't have to do polygroups just for high resolution sculpts. You can also do it for very low resolution objects too. For example, if we go in here to the palette, and we choose a cylinder, and we make PolyMesh 3D, you're gonna see we have a much lower res cylinder than that sculpt we were working on. And now when we go down here to our polygroup menu, some of this might start making more sense. Auto groups we'll get into when we start talking about insert mesh brushes. But if you wanna see a sneak preview, here's a trick. You can hit W, hold down Control, and start dragging this out. Let go of Control, and you'll just drag out more copies of this mesh. If you control drag to unmask everything and then go over here to auto groups, you're going to see anything that's not vert welded is going to get its own polygroup. So that's basically how auto groups works. Now these things don't have UVs, so we're not going to worry about UVs right now. But let's go down here to where he says group by normals. So if we touch that button, you're going to see, and let's go ahead and hit Q to go back into draw mode, you're going to see all these flat faces up here got a polygroup. All these faces in here got their own polygroup, and then all these bottom faces got their own polygroup. Now we already know we can hold down Control Shift with Select Rectangle and grab any of these polygroups. You can Control Shift drag to invert that selection, and then go through here and you can take all these caps. Control Shift tap to bring everything back. Control Shift tap any of these colors in the middle to grab them. Control Shift drag to invert. You can grab all of these middle sections. Control Shift drag, and now we have just the middle sections with no caps. Of course, we can hold down Control shift tap, and everything's back. Now the reason that worked is because we have this max angle slider. So it's going to look at the angles of these meshes and go, this right here is a 90 degree angle. That's greater than 45. So if we take this and crank it up to 90 and say group by normals, now it's just going to essentially run an auto groups. In fact, if we hit Control w to say group visible, or it's actually group mask clear mask, but with nothing mass, it's just gonna group visible. And then we run group by normals. You're gonna see it's not really taking into account this normal change. It's just gonna basically group everything that's not vert welded. However, the smaller we make this number, if we drag this down to like 48, now it's gonna see this angle difference. So all of these faces are gonna be a different polygroup than these. In fact, if we keep dragging this slider lower and lower, eventually it's gonna start catching these very small angle changes in here. Again, all you gotta do is crank that value up just a little bit. And now this angle right here is too small to be noticed by this max angle, and it's just going to group these large angle changes here. So this face, this face, and then all of these have very slight angle changes, so these will all get their own polygroup. Now, if we hold down shift and snap our view, so we're looking just down at our object, we can say group front, and that's going to send a polygroup here and then send it straight back. You're gonna see it kind of bleeds a little bit onto the sides there. And like we've already talked about, you can group visible, which has the same effect of hitting Control W, which is group mask clear mask, but nothing's masked. However, if we hold down Control and drag a mask over this one, then hit group mask clear mask or Control W, now this is gonna get its own polygroup and that mask is gonna be cleared. So now when I hold down Control Shift and I wanna select just the green one, I can isolate the green one very easily. Control Shift drag to invert that selection. Control Shift tap to bring everything else back. And if I just want these purple ones, I can control shift tap and just look at the purple ones. Of course, I can control shift. Of course, I can also go through here with these visible and say auto groups. And now these will get their own polygroups and hold down control shift and tap and bring that last one back. So now I can hold down control shift and select each of these individually. Control shift drag, select, select, control shift drag, select, select, control shift tap to bring everything else back.